Hi, I'm Barry from Green Home Systems, and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about sun exposure on your home and even things like shading. So your home, you know, is facing different directions and the sun, of course, rises to the east, sets in the west. So when you look at how much sun exposure you get, if you've got an east facing roof where the sun is only shining in the morning, let's say, or a west facing roof where the sun is only shining in the afternoon, you're not getting as much sun as you would from a south facing roof where the sun is gonna be hitting it all day. So it's based on sun hours. So you'll find that the best exposure is going to be panels that are facing south. Second is panels that are facing west just due to the way the earth tilts it on its axis a little bit. And then east after that. North is not really the best place for uh, solar panels. California, there's still plenty of sun there. So some of the like Texas and some of the Southern states, you might be able to get away with it on the North, but it's not as advisable. One quick note, a lot of, uh, of these uh, utilities are moving into time of use pricing, which means there's like a peak pricing starting in the afternoon or evening. So like in California, some of the panels, people are placing them even more on the West to take advantage of producing the most during those high periods where the cost, you know, costs a little bit more. So the production is different also in different locations. So if I've got uh, 10,000 kilowatt hours being produced by a system in California, that same system, the same size system in Illinois might only produce 8,000 kilowatt hours based on the amount of sun you get, the amount of clouds and rain and snow and shade, and even just where it is located on the equator. So farther south, it gets better sun. Farther north, it gets less. So that's an important thing. Uh, one other thing that you think about with shade is trees. I mean, think about it. If the sun is being shaded by a tree, you know, all of a sudden your panels are not gonna produce as much. Same thing with chimneys. If you've got a big chimney, it'll do that. Now granted, the sun moves, so it's only gonna shade probably for part of the day. So we never encourage people to like cut down trees because we think they're great for the environment, but you wanna trim them. Now, one thing too, some people will cut down their trees to get more solar, and you know what? Adding solar cuts down on pollution and that helps like save trees in the long run. Again, I'm Barry Durand. If you want more information, go to our website, greenhomesystems.com.